introduce with great pleasure by bringing Treasurer of the State of Illinois, Dan Rutherford. Well, it's nice to be with you. I understand I've got a lavalier mic, so I'm not going to stand behind here, but I just uh, I want to get organized. But um, Alejo Torres, thank you very much for your uh, sponsorship and cooperation for what you do here in College of DuPage. We appreciate that. I was actually here for this, um, for the groundbreaking of this building. Josh and I were here about a year and a half ago, so I hadn't got a chance to get back in here since then, but thank you. You know, when I hear a kind of introduction like that, obviously it's kind of nice to you know, I've had the chance to work very hard, and, 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 but the two things I want you to note out of that, am I getting feedback? Two things I want you to note out of that is the fact that um, I am an advanced certified master scuba diver, and when I swim in the oceans and I see sharks and so forth, I have a lot of respect for them, and they are dignified, and they have purpose to exist. I'm also an elected official, and in Springfield, the sharks that are there <laughs> have no credibility at all compared to those that have reason to exist in the ocean. But the other thing that I, I, um, I get somewhat embarrassed, I didn't know which, which uh, resume or bio they gave you to highlight, but I get sort of embarrassed about that because, you know, what's the credibility in some of those adventures through Africa and Antarctica and down the Orinoco River to the Amazon or, or, or whatever it may be to have you be qualified to be the treasurer of the state of Illinois, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, right, so I understand all that. Uh, the part that um, I'm actually most um, pleased or proud of in my life experiences was, yes, the years I served in the legislature, but simultaneous that I actually served 25 years uh, as an executive vice president of the Service Master Corporation, which I know those of you from College of DuPage and DuPage County is just down the street. Some of you may remember Noah Bill Pollard. Uh, Bill was the senior exec VP who brought me in, later become the chairman of that, but I served 25 years there and responsible for our global expansion. But, but that skill set that I feel I picked up, and obviously I, they kept me for 25 years and helped bottom line and became an officer and so forth, they must have been doing something right. And, you know, and, and, and as a private sector business guy, I dealt with receivables, payables, and financial planning and taxes and government regulation and so forth. So when I went to uh, the Illinois General Assembly, I still stayed as a um, member in the, in the private sector. And during that experience in Springfield, I was down there and there were things the government did and not all of it was really good to companies and job creation. So what I decided was that, you know, I, I didn't have to get elected to have a job. I had a, I had a great, great opportunity as a VP of a Fortune 100 company. So I decided to go to Springfield and just call it like it is. Um, and, and now, so you young ones here, have you ever been to the state capitol yet? Have you been there? You have? You have. Okay, some of you have and some of you haven't, but you probably heard this in class. On your desk as a legislator, you vote. Okay, so the green button means? Yes. yes. The red button means? No. And the yellow button means? No. Chicken. <laughs> your yellow chicken if you don't go yes or no. And what I decided all of those years, I was in Springfield, never once out of the thousands and thousands and thousands of votes I ever cast did I go the chicken button. I'm either yes or I'm no. And if you like it, we're okay. And if you don't like it, you have the right to ask me and I have the obligation to tell you. But when it's said and done, I'm the guy that's punching the buttons. And that's the way I conducted myself when we looked at things in the legislature in regards to further taxes and, and where we are on spending, and especially debt, borrowing, not putting the money in the public pensions and so forth. And I won't go down that path today with you, but that'll take a whole different seminar on that whole mess. Um, but then the time came to look at possibly getting on the statewide stage. And I'm a, I'm a, a central Illinois guy. I'm from Pontiac. Though, I, as I said, I was an officer of a company here in DuPage County for all those years. And, and here, I'm not going to get into politics because that isn't what it is. I'm, I'm a Republican, and my friends that are Democrats are proud of that. I'm proud to be a Republican and so forth. But you know, how does a guy like me from central Illinois go on the statewide stage to be the chief finance officer uh, in, a, in a state like Illinois? And I said, you know what, I'm not going to be the chicken button. We're going to go out there, and we're going to talk about the issues and problems and debt and borrowing and, and step right up. And, and bada-bing, bada-boom, the public of Illinois uh, 
gave me a, a significant uh, resounding number. And I got sworn in on January 10th, uh, 2011, so just a year and a few months ago. And I remember we were in, the, uh, in Springfield at the um, Prairie Capital Convention Center. There was about 10,000 people out there getting ready for six people. Six people are going to walk on that stage to become the executive branch of government for this state of 13 million people, budget about 50, one, two, three billion dollars. You know, maybe I'm off a billion here, a billion there, but you know, it depends on we talk about federal monies and so forth. And it was a really, I mean, this is like an auspicious moment. So the Supreme Court Justice had me raise my right hand. I took the oath of office. And I walked up to that podium, and the state seal was there, and Mayor Daley was back here, and Governor Quinn was here, and Governor Thompson was there, and all the constitutional officers, and all the TV cameras, and 10,000 people. I was sweating bullets. I was nervous as could be, because this is probably the biggest moment, out, one of the biggest moments of my life. Put the uh, hands on each side of the podium and looked out there. And it hit me. I had just become the treasurer of the most bankrupt state in America. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I could have had a V8, or... Or what was he thinking, or something, something like that. And what I decided to do, what I decided to do was do exactly like I did in the private sector, and what I, exactly like I did in the legislative experience is I'm not going to be a chicken button. And the, the, where, where government has gone, and where it is today, really is not that good a shape in Illinois. And that's why I find it kind of awkward to be standing here talking to you all about financial responsibility. Other than the fact that I am a private sector business guy, I know from whence I came, and I know from where we need to go. And I, when we were uh, uh, invited to participate with the College of DuPage, and especially with our friends from the Federal Reserve, I said, absolutely, I want to be in here. Because what I see, where I see we need to be going for these young people is we need to have the ability to be sure that they are understanding of the way you really should be and not the way sometimes it is. So when you, and I, I did an interview with the, the media out front. You know, the three young people in preparation for savings, and then you go to the next kind of level of maturity, and you got the college students. And the idea about credit card debt, and you get your first credit card, and how it runs up, and all of a sudden you say, whoa. And then you get into others, like us mature kids, you know, where we are in preparation for the financial solvency and where we're going and so forth. And then you get into the, you know, where all of us aspire to be, the really mature kids, and where they are in regards to be able to sustain within fixed incomes and or other things. So where we can, in our government from Illinois and our friends at the federal level, to partner up to take whatever we can by tapping into great institutions like the College of DuPage and great friends and supporters in the private sector who are presenters, thank you, to help try to bring about some understanding and awareness of where we, where we hope to be and where we, where we can go with all of this. Um, so, now, how old are you, young man? Six. You're six. I used to be six also. <laughs> Now, who was the 16th president of the United States? Raise your hands. Yes, sir. Abraham Lincoln. Very, very good job. Who is the treasurer of the state of Illinois? <laughs> <laughs> you get an A plus today, young man. <laughs> yeah, I can go in. They gave me talking points, okay? I can go into all kinds of other minutia and so forth. I'm not going to do it. I just want to say thank you very much. Thank you for being out here. Thank you so very, very much for helping sponsor and do the things you're doing for these young people. I hope you get a good deal out of what we've got going on today. I know I've got some of my great staff here, and Ben Novin is going to be a presenter for you later today. If any of you, now all of you mature kids are welcome too, but I'm particularly thinking to the tomorrow's generation and the future treasurers and the future presidents of the United States. And by the way, you know what? That is not too far-fetched. Because when I served in the Illinois State Senate, I served with a man who today is now in the 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, and I know Barack and Michelle, and I'll tell you, back when we first got sworn in, I'm thinking, what? President of the United States, are you kidding me? And I don't mean it against, against Barack, it's just how the process can eventually go on and, and to be what it is today. So it can happen, and you know what? We need to have a woman President of the United States someday, too, not too far <laughs> in the distant future. So. <laughs> so let me just say to you, young people particularly, if you ever make it to the Illinois State Capitol, 
My name is Dan Rutherford, and I'm on the second floor, and you come in, I will be glad to meet you. I'm going to tell you why. When I was in sixth grade, my grandpa took me to the Illinois State Capitol. Okay? First time ever. And I got the autograph of every single receptionist that worked for a constitutional <laughs> officer. And I have that autograph book today. I didn't meet a constitutional officer, but I got the receptionist's <laughs> autograph. So what I decided to do, anytime I am physically in that building and there's kids there and there's a school group there and I know about it, I take time out to say hello to them. So when you come, you remind my team when they bring you out there, and Josh is right here, wave your hand, Josh. Josh Lanning's the guy. You say that you were here, and because of what you are doing today and the, the programs you went through and the type of learning you're going to get today, if you tell my office when you come there, I will give you a special tour. Now, this is for the adults in this room who don't know this. You remember this. In the sub-basement of the Illinois State Capitol is the vault of the state treasury. It really exists. And I was never in that vault until I took the oath of office to be the state treasurer. There's a door that's this thick. It's thicker than you are, young man. And it's about taller than I am. The door weighs 16 tons. And you have to literally put a lot of muscle in it to get that big door open. Now, it used to be when they would actually have cash, you know, back in the old days of cash, where they would actually have the money. And there's a rack there where the guns were there for the security guards that would protect the vault. And now, it's because it's electronic and wired, they don't, they don't have cash cash there. Um, uh, but we do use it for storing the unclaimed property, which comes through safety deposit boxes and so forth. So there is gold ingots. There are stamp collections. There's beanie babies, really valuable <laughs> things. <laughs> true, true. Locks of hair. Like when your mom, you got your first haircut, and mom cut the lock of hair and put it in a safety deposit box, and later she became great-grandma and all that. So we got all that kind of stuff down there. So you're welcome. I, can, I know the combination. <laughs> and if you're really good, I will make sure they'll let you out. <laughs> but you're welcome to visit me. So I will tell you about my very first day after I took that oath of office, okay? I got done. They had a motorcade. They had big security because of the unfortunate occurrences that had taken place just before this. We had big security, the motorcade and so forth. And we go to the uh, sub-basement of the Capitol because the new treasurer, the newly minted treasurer, the state of Illinois, is getting ready to sign the documents to be the recipient of the books of the government. Now, what freaked me out was a few days before that, they asked my Social Security number. and think, oh, no, <laughs> what have I just got myself into? So my predecessor, Alexi Giannoulis, had signed the documents for the exit, and I was to sign the documents for the receipt of the entire treasury of the state. So we go in, secret, not secret service, a state police, and they had security, and we go down, and the ceremony is going to take place inside this vault I'm telling you about. So they had the tablecloth set up, they had the blue flares, the papers sitting there. But the television cameras are down there to watch this new treasurer coming in. So the, my staff had it ready, so I click, click, got it right, and I take and pull back seriously. 16 tons, I pull this door open, the TV cameras are rolling, and I'm getting ready to walk in there, roll it open. I stick my head and look in the vault of the state treasurer and turn to the TV cameras, and I go, there's nothing in here. <laughs> that was the 10 o'clock news in Springfield. So. And I'm now the treasurer of the state of Illinois. <laughs> so let me just say thank you very, very much. I appreciate you participating today. I hope you get a lot out of it. I ask you to give us feedback if there's things we should, should do differently or additionally. We want to continue to refine this to be a good contributor to what we see, both the growth of, uh, of where we can be and especially for these little boys and girls. God bless you and thank you so very much. <laughs>